After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. This way, I'm spread your go. feet. And I'm ready to go to sleep. What were you Please. drinking? I just told her what I say. Four earthquakes. Yeah. Four locos. Two uh, four locos. Uh, like two bloods and uh. Yes. Okay. Sir, that's my daughter. How many kids do you have? Six. That's just one. What happened tonight? Fell me with a deadly weapon. Baby daddy. Yeah. Domestic violence with a deadly weapon. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, wait, sorry, I'm gonna take these clothes off you, okay? Right, yeah. Get yourself, put your hands up on the wall. I will do so. I appreciate that. I love this place. Wow, I never hear that. <laughs> Let's go get screened by medical. This row, all the way down the very last chair. I love happy drugs. Stand up for me. What are you getting charged with tonight, do you know? Uh, soliciting, ma'am. Soliciting. I haven't done it in three months. A new one or a bench warrant? Is that why you're all done up with the makeup? Yeah. Yeah. Did you make any money tonight before they no, arrested you? They, no. They picked me up that quick. So you wasted all that makeup for nothing? Yeah. The first oh. guy, the first guy I knew, and the second guy, I knew he was too, but he was kind of good at what he knew. He was so the police. Did, yeah. So were they cute? So it doesn't matter if they're cute. I want the money. You just want the money. You don't care if they're cute. <laughs> do you do any kind of drugs now? I've been out. I've been out crack for 12 months. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You feel better? Yes. That's why I'm happy. <laughs> That's why you're happy. So you don't even care that you're in jail. Awesome. But right now you need to have a seat until they call your name. You're not allowed to sit next to the boys in here. How'd you come in contact with her? I picked her up on uh, Boulder Highway. Mm -hmm. she's, she's a regular. Oh, okay. uh, um, and literally within seconds, I went up on her. She agreed to do uh, oral sex for 40 bucks. She actually said she pretty much knew you were a cop, but she decided to go ahead with it anyway because oh, okay. she needed some cash. Okay. So. <laughs> Now I'll take her right now. What happened to you tonight? My landlord attacked me. Your landlord did? And Have you been drinking tonight? Yeah, and they brought me in instead of him because he told me that that's the way it would go down if I called the police. Well, you're really emotional right now. I don't because think I'm tired of the way he treats me and talks to me and he throws away my food, Lord. throws away my fan. Uh-oh, we don't pound. <laughs> Are you suicidal, ma'am? Listen, we're going to get through this, OK? Let's go talk to medical. Come on. No way. Because I'm worried about your head now. OK, Why? walk you this way. Me, not yeah. him. I know, and we're concerned. She told us her roommate tried to choke her, although we didn't see any uh, evidence of that. And then her roommate also told us she started throwing punches, scratched his chest, which we observed. So therefore, we arrested Jane for domestic violence. All right, thank you. How are you guys doing? Great. We're happy. I'm trying to sober up. You're trying to sober up. Are you entertained in here? Yeah. Kathy, over here. What's wrong with your? Oh, don't run. No running in jail. Stand. OK. Lewis! I want you to stand right here. So it looks like he charged you with soliciting, so there'll be no OR. You got to bail out, or are you going to stay here for the 48, 48 hours? hours. OK? All right, well, hey, you be careful out there. I will, thank you. Okay. All right, keep those pants up, girl. Not going to be earning any money out here. All right? <laughs> Belanta, let's sign for your stuff. OK, here's what you are here for. Mm -hmm. Battery domestic violence with a deadly weapon, $15,000 bill. No, daddy told my daddy beat me to the ground. He thought he was going to run. OK, you say daddy, you mean baby daddy? Yeah, kid's okay. daddy. That little girl right there. He thought he was going to run. Okay. I took a knife. <gasps> I did ninja. CSI. FBI, all them came. Did he yes. have to have a bunch of stitches? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he better have them. Don't put your hands <laughs> on me if you don't want to get back. So where, where is he now? He's at home. You still with him? Nah. OK. Your friend's in there, Kathy. You'll be able to sit with her. I do? Yeah. Ah. You're, you're BFF, your new uh, friend. OK, see this room? Sit up there with your friend. This way, this way, this way. Always go this way. You don't want to walk behind officers. They get a little nervous when you do that. Let me 
Sometimes people come in here for simple charges and they get what's called an OR, that's release on your own recognizance. You know, and they could actually be out of here in four to six hours. Sometimes these people fight with the other inmates, they fight with us, their process stops. So six hours turns into 12 to 18 hours and it's all on them, it's just their behavior. They let him in the bar. We just had a female come in. She's a little intoxicated. I'm going to step over and make sure she's behaving with medical. What are you getting charged with tonight, you know? You want to know what happened tonight? Yeah. I'm, I'm dying to know what happened tonight. Okay. My ex-boyfriend. He's 18 years old. I'm over it, and he, like, just keeps stalking me. I try to date other guys, but he'd be like, oh, threatening to kick their ass, and he like, stalk me. Don't hang out with him. I don't care how big, medium, small. Don't hang out with him. I don't talk to the guy. He just keeps stalking me. I can't help it if somebody walks into the bar and calls all your friends out and stalks you in the shadows of your house and moves into your house. Like, I can't help that. Perhaps you should quit hanging out at the bar until this is resolved. No, no. I go home and he's there, dude. Like, it's... We're trying to help you here. He waits in the shadows. So why don't you guys ever call the police and let them know there's a teenager hanging out in a bar that serves alcohol? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him. <laughs> no, don't say that. You just need him to go away. We're... He can do whatever he wants. Why? Because he knows a bunch of cops. He's, he's just crazy. He's a cop caller. Try and to I... find him above 21. OK. So come with me. Sit right there. So is her story pretty accurate? No. Her boyfriend described her as a psycho ex-girlfriend that was mm -hmm. basically stalking him and supposedly shoved him, but there was no sign of any kind of injury. Okay. I went over and talked to her at another bar where she was seated with another guy, and she's got a bunch of warrants. So. OK, so the ex-boyfriend isn't stalking her. His ex... No, it's the other way around. The other way around. Yeah. She's stalking... She's... Stalking the ex-boyfriend. He's the stalky, she's the stalker. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. So the ex-boyfriend isn't stalking her. He's the stalky, she's the stalker. And is he really 18? She's saying he's 18. I don't think he is. No? OK. Definitely over 18. So the story's a little different, is it? Well, she just woke up. <laughs> right, she, she and slept, she's... It was a 43-mile ride from Indian Springs, so she just woke up. And she admitted to drinking tonight. So. Just a little. Just a little. All right, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the ex-boyfriend's stalking you? Yeah! Or are you maybe following the ex-boyfriend around? No. You're not? No. You're like, you have no idea. This guy is, like, out to ruin my life. Well, only you can you can stop him from that. No, I can't. Nobody Look at can just doing. ruin your Nobody can just ruin your life. It's up to you. I wouldn't tolerate that if I was you. I would, I would get out of there. The guy's psycho. Sounds like, he's like a it. psychopath. Have you ever tried to get a restraining order against no. your ex? No. You know what he, you know he did? He lied and he called the cops and said, I pushed him. Like, who does that? Like, everybody was there. Like, nobody pushed you. He went into the bar and, like, called me out. Like, I don't understand. I don't get it. So someone lies about you, calls the police, has you thrown in jail, yeah. but you still don't want to get a restraining order against him. Why? Why? Because the sex is good. <laughs> she's a whore. She's called me a whore. Why would you do that over there? <laughs> Look sorry. at her. She's a whore. No. You're nothing. I just don't care. You're disgusting. I'm glad you feel that way. Ma'am, mind your own business, please. No, I wasn't talking to you. No, but you're making comments about our conversation. And no, it's not about your conversation. Me. No, about me. About my job. No, he's talking to you. Ignore her. All right. Stay away from the 18-year-old ex-boyfriend. I'm done. I have to go pee. OK, you got to The restroom's right over there. When you come back out, sit in the back, OK? Don't talk to any of the guys that are in here. And what's your story, mess? I got drunk tonight. I got in the car, and I drove. And where, I were you, where were you drinking? My boyfriend's. Your boyfriend's? What, what kind of alcohol did you guys have? I was drinking seven and seven. Seven and sevens? Do you have a few of them? Huh? Do you have a few of them? Yeah, about three or four. That's a lot. Did you hit a parked no. car? No, she pulled in this way, and I pulled out that way, and we kind of just... No. No? You passed up behind the wheel when you were making your right turn. The lady that was in that car was <laughs> stopped. Stop. Was that stop. a total stop? Yeah. Oh, that's not very that's nice. Not, that's not the right answer. Listen, we can't flip officers off. That's not very nice. Yeah. Sit here for a little while till they're ready for you. Sorry about that. Yeah, she was, she was when she first came in, she said, oh, it was just a little bump. Just a little no, bump. No, no, she tore the front left wheel off of her Mustang. Oh. It wasn't a little Was bump. anyone hurt in the accident? Um, no, the other no? driver didn't, okay. didn't complain of injuries, okay. but she was stopped at a stop sign, and mm -hmm. this lady came 
right turn around the corner too fast. And, and just, she, the, the other girl said she looked like she was passed up behind the wheel, and she oh, did. Okay. And she just went corner to corner on the car. The oxycodone oh, she's on probably doesn't Oh, that so at there's all a little more going on. You know, there's always their story, and then there's the truth, which you guys tell me. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you. I'm glad no one got hurt out there. Thank you. Janine, stand up for me. Okay, so we can't flip officers off. It just I can't happen. I was not flipping him off. I really okay. was Who were you flipping off? It was just off? a whole attitude thing. His I was attitude. flipping off the attitude thing. But then you were flipping said, him off. He said, no, he said, you stopped. And you were passed out. And I said, no, I wasn't. That's and I flipped Do you off. think maybe he remembers a little more accurately than you because he hasn't had three or four seven and sevens tonight? He wasn't getting in your face or anything. He was just telling you the facts as he saw oh, them. Oh, no. I don't like I said. I wasn't okay. flipping him off either. All right, let's go sit down. Right. Thank you. I'll go sit down then. Officer Citre? Yes. The girl that came in earlier for domestic violence was kind of angry. She came out here, didn't last very long, started making all these demands. So put her in a side cell since oh, she I was so that. angry. Yeah. I'm just going to go back to the side cell okay. and see what all she's right. doing. Jane, why'd they bring you in here? My landlord attacked me, and they brought me in here instead of him. And I'm the one that called 911. He's an alcoholic. Were you drinking? You told I don't me drink. You told me earlier that you were. I had a drink, but yeah. I mean I wasn't drinking. Right. I don't drink. Well, if you have domestic violence, you're gonna be here for a minimum of twelve hours. And you'll be out of here probably within forty eight hours. I can't. I have a doctor's treatment you on can Tuesday post I bail. have to go to. I'm not gonna tell you you're gonna be out of here in a few hours, because you're not. Okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to What was that, Jane? That was very dramatic of you. Jane, is there any more questions you have for me? I can see that your eyes are open. Do you need me to call anybody for you? See, that's yeah, all you needed to ask. Go to the hospital. What for? Because of my injury. What injury? You guys aren't going to do anything for it. I didn't know about an injury. What's wrong? You seem to be OK. I had a stroke. You go to the hospital, and then you're here longer. It doesn't make it go any faster. You still have to come back here and do your time. What I need you to do is sober up. I am not drunk! This is your personality all the time? I'm not drunk! I'm Jane, pissed! You're okay. keeping me from You're not listening time. to me. You're talking over me. I'm trying to tell you how to get out of here, but you're not listening to me, so I can't help you then. Until you can calm down and listen. Yeah, I have to lay here and sober up. Good luck to you, Jane. I know she's just up and down, and it's hard for me to be able to spend all my time paying attention to her when I've got a room full of other people that have issues as well. Let's just better get her out of that area, bring her back here so she can be more closely monitored, and hopefully she'll sober up soon. Chanel? Okay, you're here on three charges. Two charges of disorderly conduct that are in warrant, and one DUI bench warrant. If I don't have the money, it's like 25 days in jail. It's probably good for you. You won't be able to go to your little bar for 25 days. Just think about it this way. That 18-year-old stalker can't bother you while you're here in jail. I know. I know. That's totally true. Like, uh, like, what is he doing now with himself? You know, he well, has to have somebody to Ross. <laughs> don't worry about what he's doing. You got to get your ducks in a row, girl. You might as well get it straightened out now. All right? Calm down. He'll be OK. So Janelle's kind of having a bad night. It sounds kind of like a repetitive cycle with her. She likes to hang out at this bar with her friends and doesn't want to put a restraining order against this boyfriend that's allegedly stalking her. Who knows what's really true? She's got herself into a situation only she can get herself out. Central Booking Bureau. One of the things I like to do when they come in is assess what the person's acting like, uh, if they're hostile, loud, if they're extremely quiet on the other aspect, so we can determine how the person's going to act once they're out of cuffs and in our custody. Here you go, hand on your head. There you go. Just tell me what to do, bro. You're the boss, bro. What do you want me to do? So what did you take this morning? Huh? What was it that you took this morning? At one time, four hours ago, and I'm like <laughs> sober down here already. You do seem a lot better than you did a couple hours right. ago. Right? right, my heart, dude, my heart's cool. Like you know what I'm saying, Look, I'm talking a lot still. 
Hold it's sort of hard to pull my pants up when I'm in handcuffs, ma'am. There you go. Focus. Sit in the second row, okay? Is that restroom? Yep. Restroom. Yep. There it is. Men's and women's. Knock first. Make sure there's not somebody already in there. Knock first. All right. All right. So this guy came in this morning. He was uh, really, really intoxicated on some type of drug. He said he did a bunch of GHB and 10 ecstasy pills uh, so the police wouldn't get him on it. We sent him out to the hospital. had UMC clear him. Now he's back and getting booked in. What's up? Some food? 10 o'clock, which we're at 9.30 now. 10 o'clock's coming. We're going to get you a nice happy meal. Uh, I mean happy, happy meal. Meals. I love happy meals. I don't meals. mean happy meal from the store. I'm saying our, our meals. I like that. will make you happy. And we're going to get a juice, probably some orange juice or something well, like I that, orange drink. Happy meals and a happy bed. Not, not, I'll be real happy. Not going to get a bed. All I ate was a bunch of pills of ecstasy. Right. And it's out of my system. I need some food and water. What Bail. were you doing last night that got this all going? It's a long story, dude. My employees trying to kick my ass in the wind parking lot. I mean, right, that's just, true. You know, cops there, I'm going to jail. OK. And they saw the altercation and chose to bring you to jail instead of the other one? And did yeah, they bring that's you, up. Uh, bring you because of the fighting or just because of the drugs itself? I don't know. We'll see what you got booked on, and but, uh, we'll go from there. Thanks. All right, man. 49, 49, 8, Cal Carter. Hyperpressure, pain from your right leg, DVT. Anything else? And stupid pill, don't forget that. It's true. <laughs> if you think of anything else, you're going to get a full screening in the next room so they can. Uh, well, I look like Don Rickles. Maybe that's why they want to. You actually do a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, you probably heard that show before, and he, huh? He called me on the stage years ago. Years ago? Uh, yeah. He introduced me as his, his uh, ugly step cousin, the result of inbreeding. Wow. Do me a favor. Come sit right here in this. Uh, First chair and just relax for a minute, and we'll be with you in a couple of minutes and get to the next step, all right? He's a 72-year-old gentleman who was remanded for possession of controlled substance with intent to sell. Appears he had bags of marijuana in his car that he was selling to supplement his Social Security. All right. You about ready for this process? Yeah, I'm going to be a star. Yeah. Well, go ahead and stand up. I'm going to take you in the other room here and oh, okay. get the next process going here. And uh, you told the nurse most of the things that you had going on. Everybody's done. Oh, yeah. Well, why not? Well, well, you're not here to suffer. We're trying to trying to get you through. There you go. Turn to your right. OK. Turn this right. The other right. This right. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Like you about 30 years younger. So uh, me and him are going to be twins in 30 years? He could be your dad. Right. Dad's a foot taller and 100 pounds heavier. <laughs> Anyway, let's go over your paperwork. They have the charge down, OK, as attempt possession of controlled substance with the intent to sell. That's the marijuana, that's OK? The one that we just did, yeah. That's the one you just did, OK? Oh, my god. Come on, you don't like that? That's a good picture. I look old. When I got my driver's license, a young girl says, oh, this came out nice. I says, are you kidding? I look old. And she looks at us, it's 1938, and goes, hello, you are old. Oh, well, there you go. See? Pocket, right? That's right. Got your copy in your pocket? Mm -hmm. Got it right here. All right. You remember the rules from last year when you were here? Oh, yeah. OK. Come on out here. Don't flirt with the girls. I know you're a flirt. Um, so just be polite and nice. You're going to be on the male side, OK? Raise your hand if you need anything. Gotcha. Then make sure you talk to the nurse and tell her about your medications and stuff again if you need anything. Hey, listen, first four rows over there, OK? okay. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, sir. You don't see 72-year-olds uh, every day talking about how they were arrested at the mall for selling marijuana to the kids. Uh, just trying to supplement his income, and uh, he got caught. But nice guy, fun to talk to. I wish they'd all come in like that. All right, Joel, let's get you out of these cups. Bring your tray. He's going to take that from you. Hang on to that for a second. This is what you got. Trafficking and Control Substance Schedule 1 uh, GHB. OK, that's a $10,000 um, bail and a felony. OK, of course. Uh, possession of marijuana. OK, $3,000, also a felony charge. And then yeah, really uh, the ecstasy as well. Yeah, we talked about the smell of that weed. Uh, uh, pretty obvious it was weed without even testing it, but we did test it. All right. Possession of controlled substance ecstasy, um, also a felony, $3,000 on that charge. And uh, destroying evidence, you eating 10 of the ecstasy becomes Which destroying I mean, evidence I would have not tried to eat You them. knew. You told no, me no, you knew. No, no. You but said I did it because the cop didn't get it. In Colorado, I would have got away with eating it. All right. Well, it's a gross misdemeanor. The least serious charge you have, OK? I need to sign here and sign there. So what did Three you think felonies? of the food? Three felonies? Is it as good as a Happy Meal? Did it make you happy? Oh, I don't care about that. I'm more concerned with the three felonies I got. 
Come on out here, I want to explain the rules to you. So you're going to sit up here on the male side, first four or five rows, raise your hand if you need anything. Do you want to finish your food? Of course. OK. There's a water fountain in the front of the room. OK. So phone, water fountain. I've been to jail pretty easy. Yeah, before. it's pretty easy. So any other thing? All right, try to be nice, be polite, be respectful. You'll get the same treatment. Go ahead. First three, four rows over. Hit, take a copy of your charges so you know what you get hooked in on. All right, good luck to you, Joel. Joel still thinks he's in Colorado, but he came to Vegas two days ago. Hopefully, he'll come down off the drugs and realize where he's at and get himself uh, bailed out of jail here soon. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops has threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. People that come in here that are combative, it's necessary to isolate them for a period of time. It's when we check on them later that their personalities are much more compliant. Usually it just takes that cooling down period for them to understand what's going on and realize it's not getting them anywhere. What are you doing with my mom? Never your live mom. with your mother. Yeah. So you're supposed to have mom move in with you. You know, my husband died, and um, so I moved in with mom. I'm moving the cuff? Yes, ma'am. So anyway, so... Your husband, your mother. Oh, she's wonderful, but um, yeah, you're just moving in with your mom at 44 is a bad idea. I don't care who dies. <laughs> why? Because then you can't date again, or what? No, because you know, at, when you're 44 years old, you just you're an adult. Does your mom still tell you what to do? Yes. <laughs> yes. Clean your room. Two you're the always gonna be her room. baby. Why are you here tonight? Does she know you went to jail? She's the one who called the police. Oh, what happened? Oh, what happened? I bought a, a, um, a Neon today. I bought a, and I was going to move out. Bought a new out. car? Yeah. Okay. And Relax. So I was going to move out. So then you guys got an argument, I'm yeah. assuming. You know, it's mom, I don't know, and it's like she might be looking out for my best interest, but we don't necessarily agree. We're just bumping heads. So it got into, a, it got escalated, it got into a bigger verbal argument. It's... You didn't touch her, though, right? Of course not. Of course not. Who no. called it in? My mother called it in because we oh, call mediators sorry, to come that. over to mediate. You know, it wasn't like supposed to be this or that. I'm here because of failure to register for being a felon. You're a felon? From seven years ago. Does your mom know about that too? No, no, I hid that really well on You did, trail. really? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up with the bat, bat tattoo? It's, I'm from Las Vegas. Oh, well, okay, so what's up with the bat tattoo? Do I not get it? Because I'm yeah. from Vegas. If you're going to ask about something, you should ask about the skeletal pirate kitty. Well, I didn't see that. Actually, yeah, I think that's really very, cool. very, very heavy-handed. Anyway, all right, dear. Go ahead and go to this row, all the way down the very last chair, and you can go see medical. Thank you. One more time, this one? This row right there, dear. Officer, could you tell me about the female you just brought in? Yes, uh, her mom called on her, because I guess she was being uh, belligerent because she's high on methamphetamine, is what she told us. So we went down there, and before you, I even got to knock on the door, she opened it quick, like, and was, like, outside the door. I was like, oh, this girl is high on something. So started talking to her, and she was just out of it, answering questions that we weren't asking, you know, so we ran her, and she's an ex-found who has been registered at the new address, so. So that's the charge she's going to have? Yep. Thank you. It looks like that she got an OR, so you know she'll be out of here in a few hours, like she was wondering about. What was her charges? Uh, it was a uh, failure to register. Oh, okay. convicted felon. How long am I going to be here? Let's get you through the process, all right? I don't think you're going to be here that long, at all. I have to go back to mom's. Yeah, well, yeah, you're going to have to go back to mom's, but... How long can I no, stay? No, what are the fists for? I'm thinking I need at least, like, a three-day vacation. Okay, you can stay here three days. The only thing that you can compare it to, which is not a fair comparison, is, like, a domestically bad relationship. Get out, don't go. <laughs> Get out, but you can't leave. Was your mom there when the officers came and put you in handcuffs? Was she right there? <laughs> Actually, you know, at that point, we had gone into the living room, sat down in chairs, and were being lectured by the police officers on how to act like grown women. Then the next thing I know, it's like you're walking out the door, and I can just picture her sitting there, and it's not going to hit her for about two hours that I'm not there. She start crying. My charge is um, failure to register as a felon. How did you acquire that charge? 
from not registering as a felon. I, I understand the that. The Why are you a felon? Why are you a felon? I'm committing a felony? No. All right. Check in with you a little bit, OK? OK. All right. It's the first name. Nicole. Of course her name's Nicole. All hookers are named Nicole. It's weird. But anyway, so what time did you start working at? And you made only a hundred, uh, under a hundred dollars. That's I terrible. Got a job. Well, well, how many jobs did you do to get a hundred dollars? Two jobs. Well, it's very expensive oral sex. Yes, it is. You must just be very good. good at it. <laughs> all right, third row, all the way on the very end. She said she's been out there all day and she made under a hundred bucks. Man, it was hot today too. Look at Janice. Come on over here. Okay, just put your back up against this wall right here. All right, it's hey. just the misdemeanor, so we're gonna be out of here in probably about six hours. Thanks for having me in jail for six hours. Thank hey, thanks like for visiting. Days. Don't yeah, come no back. Problem. I won't. I'll oh. try hard. All right, now that we understand each other. <laughs> okay, in this room, while you're in here, listen for your name to be called. Mm -hmm. If you need anything, just raise your hand, ask the officer for permission first. First row with the other females. I'm looking <laughs> at both sides. I can't tell the difference. Between men and women? Look at the... I know. She's got a funny personality. She'll get out of here. Hopefully, uh, she'll finish whatever she was doing if she was going to move out because it's not working out very well with her living at home with her mother. come in here and they're pretty much cooperative with us. They come in, they talk to us, they tell us why they're here. And just out of the blue, sometimes people just snap. They just lose their tempers and they, they will not reason with us. It kind of makes you realize why they're actually here. What are you charged with, you know? Uh, breaking and entering. Breaking and entering. A burglary or whatever. I'm here for Sam, my daughter. That's why I'm here. This has something to do with your daughter? Yeah. So it was maybe a domestic situation? Yeah. Okay. And she's not coming in, right? No, she's already held. You mean she's already here in this jail? Yeah. She is? Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. If you're here on a domestic situation involving her, how could that be if she's already here? Uh, grandma set her up, and I f***ed up Grandma's house. It's grandma meaning your mother? Nope, my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law, okay. And what about drinking? Yep, every day, all day long, as, as long as I can. What do you drink? Uh, something hard. All right. Okay, I'm gonna send you down to medical to be screened, all right? Okay. Come on over here. All the way down, sit in the last chair for me, okay? You got it. What happened tonight? She broke into her ex-mother-in-law's uh, house, broke a couple windows, went through, tore some furniture apart, and tipped over some cabinets. Her daughter's currently in custody here, did yeah, you tell you guys that? it's gonna be a family reunion. Yeah, that's what I... Because uh, grandma actually turned her in for, um, she was stealing her stuff. The daughter. The daughter. Okay, all right, thanks, guys. Right, no problem. How old is your daughter? 19. 19 years old. What's going on with her? Is she waiting grandma on court? Up. She's a lying sack of poop. When I found out that grandma's pressing charges, I went to go visit grandma. So when you get out of here, I grandma you better move. Ah, oh, Tiffany, you're going to get yourself in worse trouble. I hope you think about that while you're here. Like Maybe grandma. change your mind. 20 years of and she put my baby in jail. And she better move. But you're That's making it worse. Saying. You're making it worse on nope. yourself. I feel a lot better, actually. <laughs> OK. Well, calm down. I don't want to upset you anymore. What's your name? Officer Joyner. There you go. Where's your okay. window? Tell me red. Red. OK, red, go get your water. She's really angry right now. Hopefully, the couple days that she'll spend in jail, she'll calm down a little bit and see things a little more clear. Look at them. We just thought we'd come and visit. Hi, guys. They got me for sitting under a palm tree drinking a beer. <laughs> sitting under a palm tree drinking a beer? <laughs> Why are you guys so loud? Go on down here, have a seat next to those gentlemen. Down yes, sir. What are you guys drinking tonight? Just beer. Beer. Beers. Beers. Yeah, and vodka. And vodka. Yes, what time did you start that? This morning? morning about 3 o'clock. Three in the morning or three in the afternoon? Um, morning. Do you know what time it is now? No mail. No? Do you care? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're close. But we took a nap. You took a nap and then you got arrested? Yeah. Got a CPAP. I don't like him, though. 
Fire. Just for a little bit. You guys will get a nap. And you know you'll get a nap no, in a little while. I'm going to leave it on you for now. Go ahead huh? and have a seat. Okay. Like a paperwork. Yeah. These guys came in on our transport unit. They're a little wild and rowdy. They've been drinking out in the hot sun all day long, so I'm not quite sure how long we're going to be able to leave them out here because people can't get their jobs done when, when all you hear is these three. Okay, guys, we're going to have a deal, right? We're not going to be real loud so we can get you processed through, get you out of here, find out your charges. Yeah, I just want to know, know my charge. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I don't even know. You guys drink so water or just beer? I drink my beer on ice that way. So the ice melts and that's how you yeah. get your water? That way you get your water with it. What about just I a bottle? I taught that. That's my stepbrother. Your stepbrother? Really, or you just call each other stepbrother? Well, that's my stepbrother. He's, my, He's my dysfunction. OK. All right. Hey, um, Mr. Get Me a Beer, I think they're, they're ready to screen you over there. And you can slide down so that you'll be next. Make sure you, wow, you guys are happy. You know what? God gave me a heart and a smile, and I can't get rid of either one of them. Let me tell you one thing, though, OK? So. Listen, I'm right here, so we don't need to yell, OK? Oh, OK. Yeah. Just talk normal to me. Don't no talk problem. normal, OK? Oh, he likes the chair. Can I have the chair? Have you ever been in the chair before? Yeah. yeah. I've been I've been 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 in the chair. Chair. Z what? I always oh, want the chair, but they won't give it to me. I sleep better in that chair. You sleep better in that chair? They were arrested, brought in. It sounds like it's going to be trespassing. They are noisy, but they're not angry. So at this point, we're not going to. Please, put away from here so I can do my work. All right, guys, we're going to take you guys all down to a cell, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Ready? Yes, take all three and get them out of here. All right, let's go. I know where we're going. You no. Know? We're, 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 we're not going to the drum. Wait, wait, wait. Take them out of bellies? Yes. You guys, come on, stand right here. Do you guys know how loud you are? No. Okay. Step in. Oh. Your turn. Be quiet. I'm done listening to you guys. Put your hand on top of your head. These guys are having a hard time quieting down. Their paperwork yeah. will be delayed. So they're going to. Here, I got it. Make sure they can see my medical. They're probably going to detox. Yeah. Just need you guys to calm down a little bit, quiet down. We'll get your paperwork. We'll get you out of here, OK? They are funny guys. They're just too loud. They need to drink some water and take a nap. A lot of people come to Las Vegas uh, for several different reasons, mostly to have a good time. But they break the law, they come to jail, and we expect them to follow all of our rules. Nobody's special here. A lot of them come in, maybe they know somebody or they feel they're special, but everybody gets treated the same when they walk in that door. Face the wall. Imagine you're going to be so bad. Listen to what we're telling you. All right. I'm going to be so bad. OK, face the wall. Then you can go to the bathroom. OK. Why'd you get arrested? I didn't even know. You don't even know why you, what you were doing wrong? You just got too drunk last night or what? Um, probably. OK, so then why are you acting like this? Because they're going to pee OK, so well, what, you keep moving around. Yeah. Spread your feet. Fine, where are you? Know, it's not going to be happy about me. You have I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? You should have followed directions. Okay. No, you didn't. Move here, straight down that way. Come on, let's go get this. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Have a seat over here. Let me see this in. We're going to do a blood draw, OK? Don't move your arm, OK? He was uh, observed by officers uh, operating a motor vehicle. High rate of speed, ran a red light, swerving all over the place. I conducted a field sobriety test, which uh, he failed miserably. He was cooperative with the uh, field sobriety test, then uh, you know, I just guess alcohol takes over, you know? I feel like a criminal for a DUI. There's so many people out okay. here. There's so many out people out there. So many people, like, and here I am. Yes, you are. For a DUI. Yep. Right? You're right. Thank you. Stand up for it. All right, good Thank deal. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, sir. Come on this way. I'm going to stick here like to the one. You're a fat bastard, right? I'm sorry. And can I call you fat? Can I call you fat? Call me whatever yeah, you want. Fat. 
Don't move. I'm a sir, you're a fat cow. Thank you, sir. Do some exercise. Right? Do some exercise. Because your heart is beating for it. Thank you. You're a fat cow. Right? Oh, man. Exercise. I'm going to leave him in there until he calms down. Obviously, he's still doing so. He's healthy. You Hang on. He's kind of like a almost code high, but not really. Uh, go ahead. Hold on. Relax. It's all right. Relax, guy. He was he was moving around quite a bit in the back seat. His cuffs are code four, but I think he's high on something. Okay. You all right? What's going on? I'm drunk. You're drunk? Okay. What's your last name, sir? I'm trying to help you. What's that? I'm trying to help you. Okay. Yeah. Don't be moving around so much. Oh, man. Is that cool? Slide your shirt on, then. No problem, man. Anytime. Where are you from? Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe? What part of Eastern Europe? Eastern Europe. How much did you have to drink, sir? A lot. A lot? A lot? Oh, OK. Country, man. Right here. Dude, get lost, dude. What the? Dude, look at this. Let's bring him up. He's having, like, in involuntary yeah. movements. He won't yeah. step in. I need those cuffs that I put on the chair to hold him. Let me go! Don't fight anymore. Right? I'm not fighting. Just down. lose the... Sit down. Ah. Don't do it. Don't spit. Grab a spit mask. You ready? Try to let him sit out there. He started trying to pull himself out of his belly chains. All right. He's moving around. We decided to bring him over here, switch him into handcuffs. Started to resist, tense his body up, started pushing his body back. I decided to take him to the ground. We put him to the ground, put him in handcuffs, put him in a stretcher. I'm you... drunk. Oh, you're drunk? Of course I am. OK. I was drunk from the beginning. OK. What are you expecting from a drunk guy? That's a good point. The way to get out of this chair, just try to calm down. So what happened out there with this guy? We went to a fight call, mm -hmm. and there was about eight subjects inside the apartment, and he was one of them. While he was sitting on the floor, he just would not stay still. So finally, we cuffed him up. We did a records check on him, and he came up with uh, multiple traffic warrants at about $1,500. So we took him outside to the patrol car. Once we put him inside the car, he just would not stop moving. We'll keep an eye on him, see if he cools down a little bit, and hopefully we can get him out of the chair. So. Right. Face the back wall for me. Spread your feet out for me. How we feeling now? I'm gonna pee. Attitude was a little bit better. I am so done. Are you done? Yes. You sure? Yes. We were talking a lot earlier. Okay? I know. I, All right. It doesn't help your cause. My alcohol. I'm I know sober. it's your alcohol. You yeah. sobered up a little bit. I'm so sober. Okay. I'm gonna take I this am so off. sorry. This I am so sorry. This is the alcohol. So usually when you drink, that's the way you act, talking uh, a lot of smack. Yeah, I, I, I'm part of a, of a show here in Vegas. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Like, oh my god, I was so sorry. Come on this way. Look at me when I'm trying to drink her. I'm going to sit you in the back, OK? Don't put your hands on the officers in here, OK? Have a seat in the back row. Listen up for your name. Remember, if you need anything, raise your hand, OK? All right, good luck to you. Still a little loud, but he's able to come out. He's not really talking a lot to us anymore. He's just a little excited. We'll see if he can make it. I'm going to go talk to Alexandra. He's been in a side cell for a little bit. See if he's ready to come out, get through the process. OK. Alexandra, how are we feeling now, man? A mm -hmm. little bit better? You remember coming in here? We tried to talk to you a little bit. After you guys did to me, I'll be quiet, I'll do it, whatever you say. Well, what we do to you is we react to whatever the inmates are doing. We're going to get you out there, see if you can get through the process, OK? <clears throat> you got to take your little toilet paper shoes off, though, OK? Take those off for me. We'll get you some sandals, OK? Take it out of your shirt, too, OK?
while you're out there, don't cause any disruptions, OK? Or else we go right back to handcuffs and we go back. OK, let's try to go forward now. Get your arms through your shirt, too, OK? It's a little bit more right there. All right, buddy, go ahead and stand up. I'm going to have you sit down first, then raise your hand and get some permission, OK? Go to the right. To the right this way. Straight ahead. OK, have a seat right here. OK, if you need anything, raise your hand, OK? Get permission before you do anything, all right? All right, good luck to you. Looks like Alexandre is going to try to make it out here. He's calmed down a lot since he first came in here. He was very loud, moving around a lot, so. We're gonna try him out here, see if he can follow the rules and get through the process. Uh, he's been pretty quiet, so. All right, we'll see. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be.